All right, good afternoon, everyone. We'll get started with Mark Weiser and Mike Griffith. Christopher, how's it going? I'm good, what about you? Good, thanks. Um, I wanna ask you, I guess being senior day and, and uh, on Saturday and, and Richard uh, for sure, uh, you know, being a senior, his, his day and uh, trying to remember who else in the secondary, Mark Webb, and, and you guys have some uh, underclassmen that might have decisions to make kind of, what, what do you think of, um, you know, uh, that moment for, for guys like Richard and Mark? Uh, it's definitely gonna be a special moment. You know, these guys put the work and time in here to be able to leave with Mark on the um, Georgia program. And it's definitely gonna be sad to see them go. Uh, hey, Christopher, uh, Mike Griffith here. Hey, wh what's the, I don't know, if toughest is, is the right word? I mean, you've gotten so many reps. It's pretty clear you're in the right place every time. But what is the biggest challenge with getting plugged in uh, back there, I guess, into, into Richie's shoes in that secondary? Uh, I say the biggest challenge is just getting used to back to playing football again. You know, uh, some guys don't play four games for a very long time, and I definitely haven't. So just getting back out there and getting back in the swing of things and noticing the speed of the game, being able to slow the game down and make more plays. You know, I've been getting more comfortable out there every game and it's only going to keep continuing as long as I stay out there. And if I can follow up real quick, you were pretty highly recruited out of Atlanta. Were you kind of kind of surprised at all the questions about your, your football? Like, right, you know, a lot of people like seemed like they didn't know who you were. were you surprised seemed like people might have got amnesia? Uh, no, not really, because, you know, I haven't been on the scene for a while. And, you know, I haven't really made a name for myself, but that's something I'm trying to do every time I step out on the field. Next up, Seth Emerson and Anthony Dasher. Christopher, uh, curious, uh, your thoughts on Scott Cochran. Um, I don't know how many special teams units you've been on, but what's it like having him around the program the last 10, 11 months or whatever it is, and does having to wear masks and protocols kind of – make him less loud than he would be or, or not? Uh, no, nah, Coach Cogman is definitely a good boost to the team. It's been pleasant ever since he came onto the staff. You know, he's been a good plug for us. He's done well with the special teams all year. And uh, I feel like he's a great coach. Hey, Christopher, good to see you today. Uh, I just want to ask you about some a couple of the uh, the freshmen in the defensive backfield, Jalen Kimber and Major Burns, the job they have done this year and how quickly they have adapted to everything. Uh, Jalen Kimber and Major Barnes, they show a lot of promise. You know, they make a lot of plays in practice, and they're learning pretty quick, you know, uh, with the COVID situation and things like that. They were able to learn a lot more than we were as freshmen, and uh, they're definitely ready whenever their time comes. Next, we'll go to Chip Towers, then Jake Rowe. Yeah, Christopher, good to see you. Uh, what would you describe you guys are playing for at this point? And, and I mean this totally respectfully. Uh, you have another game, uh, you're not 100% sure down the road. The bowl situation is really weird this year. I, I guess there's probably some mathematical way. You might still be able to get in the SEC championship, you know, but it's, it's so different. So what do you feel like, uh, you, you know, you're motivated about going out there and playing what you're trying to achieve? Uh, you know, we motivate ourselves. So we all plan for each other. You know, we're going to always go out there and give our best, no matter the outcome, no matter – what the situation is and things like that. So we just gonna keep playing. You know, we ha we definitely still have a lot to play for. Uh, we have a chance to have the senior class be the most winning this class since they've been here. So we have a lot to play for. We have a lot to play for these seniors going out for their last game on Saturday. So it's definitely still many things for us to play for. Thank you. Chris, when, when you guys talk about a defensive standard, you allowed a 98 yard drive against South Carolina. Um, what is in what stands in the way right now between you guys playing to that standard and what you've been putting on the field lately? I mean, I know it hasn't been bad. You got a couple wins in a row, but at the same time, I mean, it, you guys are taught not to play to the school board and play to a standard. So, what's standing in the way? Uh, you know, I don't think anything's standing in the way. You know, we just got to execute a little bit better, and I feel like we're improving on that every week. And you know, we building our chemistry back up as a defense. Uh, South Carolina is, has a very good offense, and that 98 drive was a test to them. And uh, we just got to execute better. Next up, we'll go to Connor Riley and then Jed May. Hey, Christopher, having been around Richard for, I guess, two, three years now, what kind of impact has he had on the Georgia football program? And specifically, how has he sort of helped you become the player that you have been? Well, I would say he has, he's had a huge impact. You know, he always made big plays for the uh, defense. Uh, 
he gives us a good kick of energy and things like that. And ever since I've been uh, starting in this place, you know, he's still been giving me good tips and things like that. Like if he sees something, I come back on the sideline, he gonna give me a pointer and then I'm gonna go out there and use it to get better on the next drive. Uh, hey, Chris, uh, kind of staying on the subject of Richard account a little, take me back to the summer when there was a lot of uncertainty about this season. You didn't know if you were gonna play, how many games you were gonna play. What did those seniors like Richard the Count, I guess, mean for this team and sort of keeping things together, you know, when you didn't know exactly what this fall was going to look like? Yeah, those seniors always mean a lot. You know, they always keep everything intact, and we need that leadership all the time. And, you know, they always keep everybody in the game, and they show us what we got to play for. Okay, we'll open it up for the last two questions. Chris, uh, a lot of the high school seniors this year are not able to visit schools. They're kind of stuck, you know, they're uh, because of the whole COVID thing. You know, but early signing day is coming up, and then there'll be the signing day in the uh, spring. How, how would you have dealt with the fact that you can't visit the schools that you want to look at? And would you have any advice for those kids? Uh, yeah, I know that's a difficult situation, and I hate to have to go uh, through that. But uh, I personally would have dealt by by trying to stay in contact with coaches as much as possible, you know, and still getting a feel for the schools, even though they're not able to visit and be there, you can still build a relationship with the coaches and that will ultimately come down to my decision, not being able to visit campus or anything like that. How much of those campus visits influenced your decision to come to Georgia? Uh, they definitely influenced a lot because, you know, you want to get be able to get to a school and develop a feel for the school and what it's going to be like when you get here. So I definitely say they influence a lot. Hey, Christopher, how much do you feel like, you know, obviously y'all want to play with Richard and, and have him have his chance, but, you know, how much do you feel like that these last couple of games without him have been able, have been a chance for you all to establish, you know, kind of an identity for what the secondary may look like next season without him? Well, it's definitely been a good opportunity. You know, we all are deeply missing Richard and what he brings to the table, but it's definitely been a good opportunity for the rest of the DBs to be able to gel and build chemistry. All right, thank you, Christopher. Have a great rest of your Monday.